Thanks for being with us. I'm Sarah Arbogast. I hope you had a great Labor Day holiday, but now it is back to the usual grind. And first up this morning, they are women of spirit. They're leaders in their communities and are the embodiment of Carlo University's mission of mercy, hospitality, and service. Every other year, the school honors them for their work and features a selected group of women of spirit. Here with more on the award program are Dr. Suzanne Mellon, the president of Carlo University, and Marianne Cornetti, an internationally known operator opera singer and a woman of spirit. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Marianne, you are fresh off a plane from Spain. How are you I doing am. this morning? I feel great. <laughs> good, good. We're so happy you both are here. And let's start with you. Talk about what women of spirit even is. Absolutely. And thanks for the opportunity to be here. Um, the women of spirit was founded back in the early 90s. Um, by uh, President Sister Grace Ann Geibel, and it was really to honor the original founders of the Sisters of Mercy who came to Pittsburgh to really make a difference in the community and uh, reach out to those who were poor and underserved. So that original sort of uh, spirit of being entrepreneurial and being how do we address the needs of the community lives forward now in the Women of Spirit program that we are honoring that Marianne is an international awardee of as well as what the women do in their community. So we're honoring women who are leaders, who give back in their community, who are really exemplars for younger women uh, growing up and the difference that they can make in serving their community. So we've had this program now in place since the early 90s and we do it every other year and it really is, it's now become part of a win, uh, the social justice institutes at the university. So we have Women of Spirit um, Institute that is really to work with women in the communities to help them to make a difference in their community as well as providing support for younger people who are looking at the impact that they can make. And Suzanne, these are women who work in all different professions, Absolutely. all different fields. Why is it so important to have that diversity in there? I think the, the importance is to show that there are other role models that people can have, that it is not just one single one that depending on what your interests are and the impact that you can make in your community, it can be across a whole cadre of differences. So people that are philanthropists, people that are in, um, in federal government, people that are international mm -hmm. singers, all those people that are making a difference in the arts, in the community, in education, those are people that we want to really feature. And Marian, I want to ask you, you're a Pittsburgh native. Yes. This has to mean a lot. How does it feel to be honored with this? Do you know, Sarah, when I, ex when I received this, I was so touched. Because when you, when you become a singer and you, you get to the other side where you can now give back, this is the perfect way for me to do this. And especially for women, mm -hmm. um, I was so touched to, to be one of the awardees mm -hmm. because, as Suzanne said, me as an opera singer, I mean, I love what I do. Sure. But when I think of philanthropists, people who are head of Mercy Hospital, and then there's an opera singer, I thought, well, how <laughs> then can I help in this situation right. also? And so I have taken the challenge. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a wonderful uh, mm -hmm. avenue for me. Mm -hmm. And I want to touch mm -hmm. some of these young girls mm -hmm. who may not think that they have an opportunity somewhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to tell them that they can. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. can do anything they want to do. Mm -hmm. And just to be that kind of role model, I mean, these women of spirit are women that so many students, mm -hmm. women in the community are mm -hmm. looking up to, thinking, mm -hmm. just like you said, I can do this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. So it's a real, it's an honor. Mm -hmm. It's an honor to be in that position and to be able to give back. And let me ask you, Suzanne, why did you choose Maryam? What was the obvious, this has got to be our, our person this year? Well, we, we have a rigorous um, nominating and selection process. Mm -hmm. So we really ask the community to give um, nominations. And it can also be from previous Women of Spirit. Sure. And we were looking at diversity of looking at representation of awardees so that we are, in a sense, looking at that whole cadre of people that can serve as role models for younger people and well in the community. And we have not had that many international women of spirit that have been recognized. And uh, with Marianne's diversity and her 
international acclaim and being an opera star, it really does point out the impact that you can make in a global way right. um, through your work and your service and your leadership. So um, she was a natural fit. And of course, when she was, um, when she was honored um, back in t 2016, you know, she brought the house down because sure. she sang and uh, <laughs> was uh, truly engaged in it too. So we're very honored to have had her be selected and to be part of the Carlo University community now through Women of Spirit. That's wonderful. Well, thank you both for coming mm -hmm. in and stay with us because when we come back, we'll have a very special performance from Marianne. You won't want to miss it.